What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of First Look. Today we have a very special episode where we're taking a look at an unreleased, what I assume is a tech demo for the Dreamcast. This is a Simpsons game and I had never heard of a Simpsons game being in development for the Dreamcast until today when a guy over at the Dreamcast Talk forum named Sreek dumped his Dreamcast dev kit which had a whole bunch of files and folders on it, including this particular tech demo, which was by Red Lemon Studios. You may actually know this studio from the game Take the Bullet, which is one of the more well-known canceled Dreamcast games. It was a first-person shooter. Uh, this is apparently another thing that they had in development. And uh, yeah, this is previously unknown. First time I've ever heard of this game, and the first time anyone in the world has heard of this game outside the development studio, I assume. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a look at this. I'm really excited to check this out. As you can see, it's a cel-shaded game, which actually looks really, really nice. Um, but anyway, let's uh, back out of this and see if we can start the game. So here we are in the actual game. Uh, as you can see, I am playing as a bug. Part of a squad, apparently, if you're going to go by the title of the game. Um, from what I have read, this is apparently a tech demo, or I'm actually going by what Megavolt said. Uh, Megavolt's the guy who made the GDI of this game, so a big shout out to him for that so we can actually play this. Um, but yeah, he said it's a tech demo, which it definitely seems to be. There is no audio, as far as I can hear. Yeah, there's no audio at all, no music, no sound effects. So this definitely seems to be a tech demo. Don't know what the history behind this game is. Uh, as I said, it's by Red Lemon Studios, the same development studio that was behind Take the Bullets. Uh, they were also working on a couple other Dreamcast games as well that have yet to be leaked. Um, but yeah, I never heard of this before today. Very cool that a Simpsons game was in development for the Dreamcast. It's possible that uh, Fox Interactive, who is uh, who um, who is the studio that Red Lemon Studios was making this game for, this tech demo, uh, it's possible they were thinking of making a Simpsons game for the Dreamcast, and uh, they made this tech demo to demonstrate what the Dreamcast could do. So, it is a pretty nice looking game. I love the cell shaded look to it. Always like cell shading. Uh, the Dreamcast has had some really nice looking cell shaded graphic games. Graphic games? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not a word. Uh, but yeah, it, it's had some uh, some pretty nice cell shaded games on it, including Wacky Races and Looney Tunes Space Race. Is that an actual Simpsons episode playing there? I think it might be. Got some itchy and scratchy playing, as usual. So yeah, it doesn't seem like you can do all that much here. None of the buttons really do much or anything other than the A button, which allows you to jump. There is some slowdown, especially when you're jumping, unless it's supposed to be going into a slow motion mode when you jump. <laughs> but I, I kind of doubt it. Yeah, so a bit of slowdown. I can't seem to interact with Homer. I did walk right below his shoes and I didn't get squashed. So that's unfortunate. But we're going to take a look around the house. Uh, I don't know if there's any other rooms that I can go in. But we're going to take a pretty detailed look around here. See what we can find. So I assume this is just a wall. Yeah, can't go in there. So we got the kitchen and the living room we can explore. Take a look at this photo. Very nice photo. Or not really photo, drawing I should say. So I can glide if I hit the A button again when I'm in the air and glide around a bit. I don't know if I actually could have gotten up onto the counter over here. I kind of doubt it. And I'm guessing I can't get back up here. Oh yeah, actually I can. Okay, never mind. I take that back. So let's try and go get up on the counter. See if I can make it over there. Ah, I didn't jump in time. Let's try that again. Oh shoot. <laughs> Actually, can I get up onto the high chair? I might be able to. I can get up on the, the step first. 
This this bug can jump quite high. I'm not doing this correctly though. For some reason I can only jump straight up here. Okay, now I can move. I don't know. I th I think it's easier to get up on the on the chair and go from there. So, let's do that. I have no idea how I jumped that high. <laughs> it's kind of hard to control the bug when it's in the air, for whatever reason. And sometimes it won't let me move forward. I'm guessing maybe I have to be moving forward before I jump. I can't actually change directions when I'm in the air. Yeah, see, I can, I can do that. But it's going to be kind of hard to time. Hold on. I can do this. There we go. I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. Now I just get to get up on that table, which might be easier said than done. Yeah, like I said, you kind of have to have a running start in order to move forward when you're in the air. There we go. See, for some reason I didn't jump nearly as high that time. This is a lot trickier than it looks. And I'm back on the ground. <laughs> Okay, never mind. I'm guessing there really isn't a whole lot up on the counter anyway. See if I can have Homer squish me. Nope, it's not going to happen. But yeah, uh, unfortunately there isn't a whole lot to this. It is not a full-fledged Simpsons game. It is a tech demo, as far as I can tell. But very cool to see anyway. Because, th again, this is something that no one knew existed until today. And it's kind of interesting to think that uh, there could have been a Simpsons game for the Dreamcast. I believe the date on this particular build is from from 2000 at some point, maybe late 2000, which would explain why it never really manifested into a full game. Uh, because uh, obviously by early 2001, the Dreamcast had been discontinued. So if this was to turn into a full game, it just uh, it couldn't happen because uh, Dreamcast was discontinued. I mean, they could have obviously gone through with it with it if they wanted to. Ooh, I actually got up here. Uh, but I'm guessing they determined it wasn't worth it since the Dreamcast was being discontinued. But yeah, yeah I mean, it's a it's a nice looking little game or tech demo, at the very least. Uh, there is again quite a bit of slowdown, but it is quite nice. But uh, anyway, guys, that's about it for uh, the Simpsons Bug Squad. Again, not a whole lot to see here. I think uh, everything in this video is pretty much all you're going to see in this demo. So what photo is above there? Okay, yep, yeah, the boat photo. The boat painting. So let me uh, take a look over here real quick. I didn't really go over here. See if I can get up onto these speakers. Yeah, the jumping is really kind of wonky because sometimes you can go a lot higher than other times, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to spend an hour trying to get up onto those speakers. Again, I'm sure there really isn't anything to see anyway. Let's just, uh, just end the video with some itchy and scratchy. But uh, anyway, guys, that is it for the Simpsons Bug Squad tech demo for the Dreamcast. Very cool that stuff like this is still being unearthed. Um, hopefully we, uh, we see more of this type of stuff that we've never heard of before. But uh, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.